GTA 6 trailer that we saw was captured more than likely using the PS5 dev kit, PS5 Pro dev kit. That's why the trailer was looking pretty good. We're gonna get into all of that. Like the video if you just want a good game, man. Because right now, Suggas are saying that it might be 30 FPS. It might be 30 FPS. I don't want this game being at 30 FPS, okay? Like the video if you just want a good game. Dislike the video if you want Shark Hearts 2.0. Dislike the video if you want GTA Plus Plus. Dislike the video if you want Jason turning out to be a they damn strong independent uh, and all that. I don't want none of that, folks. I just want a good game. <laughs> if you want a good game, like the video, okay? But we're going to get into the story real quick, okay? Because earlier today, apparently, we heard that Sony rumored to have locked down marketing rights to GTA 6 on PS5 and PS5 Pro. That's a rumor. That's what we're hearing. Another rumor. PS5 Pro to be announced next week, says the Lunatic Ignis. It's probably going to come around like September 19th to 20th, around like State of Play. Another rumor right there. But what's not a rumor here is apparently this. So, Sony came out and they said that get an early glimpse at PlayStation 30th anniversary celebration plans. And during this, uh, they apparently also have teased the PS5 Pro. In this picture, you see like all these little ass uh, PlayStation designs in the background. Apparently, Seconds have spotted, uh, shout out to the homie Dr. Enibau here, he has spotted that there's a design of PS5 Pro. And get this, this similar design was leaked out to us like a couple of days ago and we have been hearing about PS5 Pro for a minute straight. And you know, a couple of months ago when we heard, people were crying, I mean six months ago to be precise here, uh, men came out, so that 30 FPS confirmed question mark. <laughs> Because IGN, you know, you cannot say ignorant without saying IGN, okay? Says that don't expect the PS5 Pro to run GTA 6 at 60 FPS tech expert says. Yay! We're gonna get into it. Shout out to the homie Cyberboy. I got two videos that I want to share with you. This is video number one. Roll it. So it appears like Sony may be partnering with Rockstar Games, Tape to Interactive, and of course Grand Theft Auto 6 to have exclusive marketing rights for the Grand Theft Auto 6 game. But okay. what does that actually mean? In today's video, I'm gonna go through the latest information we have and try and break down what this actually means for GTA 6. So Sony has reported. I, I hope they don't nerf the Lucia Bruno or something like that. I don't want they them turning out. I, I don't want them changing Jason into a day damn bro. Like the lockdown marketing rights for Rockstar Games' upcoming juggernaut GTA 6. Now, what are marketing rights? Well, this deal will allow GTA 6 to be exclusively marketed alongside the PS5 and upcoming PS5 Pro. Now, this does not mean that GTA 6 will not be on Xbox Series X yeah. or X. I've seen so many different people... It's probably gonna, next time they reveal their trailer, the Lucia Bruna, they're probably gonna say captured on PS5 Pro. That's probably what's gonna happen, yeah. right? And, and I hope it's 60 FPS because prior to that, man, they were saying... But here's the thing, though. Does it actually matter to you guys? Because I know some people would stay with 60 fps that's me and some of you would be like nah man 30 fps fine or oh, 15 fps is Bruh. fine as well i want to know where you at man 15 fps 30 fps or 60 fps let me know like which one works well uh with you guys man i mean please don't say 15 fps guys like come on man like don't say i can to certain degree understand 30 fps though but like 15 fps come on my g like messaging me and panicking that this might be the case. Do not worry, it's not. Exclusive marketing rights means that games developers can work alongside console manufacturers yeah. to do exclusive marketing deals. For example, this might mean a GTA 6 Special Edition PS5 or PS5 Pro. This will also mean like you see in retail stores, bundle deals where you can get a console themed around a game. Now an yeah. initial question that you might have is why don't Xbox get it? Well, for GTA 4, Xbox did actually get it. However, Rockstar have always had a really close relationship with Sony, and this stems all the way back to the GTA 3 days. Now, when GTA 3 was being worked on, Rockstar Games approached Microsoft and said, hey, would you like to buy a licensing deal from us to have this as an Xbox exclusive, or at least an Xbox exclusive for marketing rights? And Xbox and Microsoft turned down Rockstar. They did not believe the game would be as big nor as successful as it became. However, man, Sony this like, is crazy. We also heard the same thing about Spider-Man, right? The Spider-Man was supposed to be like an Xbox exclusive, but Microsoft was like, no, nah, man, we don't need it, bro. We don't need it. These seconds did the same thing with GTA, but of course, Grand Theft Auto is bigger than Spider-Man, so it's not gonna be like a PlayStation exclusive or Xbox exclusive. It was, it, it, this is more like marketing rights, right? Plays best on PlayStation, you know, crap like that. Just like how Call of Duty in the future might be like, plays best on Xbox. It's gonna be similar to that. So far, they're 
not saying that, but they're probably gonna. And I mean, if they do, like, that's not a big deal, right? But of course, of course, they're gonna do it for the normies, right? Because the normies of the normies see that uh, GTA 6 is gonna play best on PS5 Pro, then Sega's gonna get the PS5 Pro, okay? Because after all, this game is not coming on PC at the very least not next year and probably not even in 2026 well we'll see at, at the very least not at launch let's just say it that way okay? on the other hand jumped at the opportunity since then rockstar games have had a really close relationship with sony and sony have worked closely with rockstar to help yeah. them optimize games for sony's consoles i really hope they're not working closely to develop that gta plus plus man <laughs> I don't want to see those shark cards 2.0, man. If Sony is working closely with Rockstar Games to work on shark cards 2.0, then I don't, uh, I still would want it, but I don't want the shark cards 2.0, okay? Bruh. I still want the GTA 6, but I hope, like, listen, man, I'm a simple man. I just want the game 60 FPS, no GTA plus plus, no shark cards 2.0, and I hope that Jason is, uh, J they, they don't change Jason. I hope that they don't turn Jason into a strong independent queen. That's all I want, man. Simple, man. Simple, simple, bro. Simple. Now, it's simple. no secret that the upcoming PS5 Pro is probably just being made in preparation for GTA 6. The way it looks at the moment, GTA 6 will be a very big and very expansive game and looks like it will be quite GPU intensive for whichever console actually runs the game. Sony are working on the PS5 Pro and the PS5 Pro at the moment, based on the predicted specs for the console, looks like it will be the only game that can run GTA 6 to its full potential. With this mm. in mind, it only really makes sense for Rockstar to partner with Sony and to do some sort of exclusive deals. Oh, and Sony make better consoles. <laughs> so, uh, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, tranquilo, papi, 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 chill, yo, whoa, whoa, yo, where my Xbox Andy's at, though? I want the Xbox Andy's on the scene immediately. I want all the Xbox Andy's immediately. How dare he said that, man? How dare you? Like, how can you let him say that? Yeah, if you're an Xbox fan right now, how how can you let him say that, bro? Like, you need to you need to pump the brakes right there, mister. I've got to make you all angry in the comments. Get that engagement up. And that leads to a whole different line of speculation. And the biggest one at the moment is that GTA 6's next trailer, Trailer 2, may debut at the 2024 Game Awards in Cap. December. Now, Cap. as much as I'd like to believe that to be true, that is very in Rockstar. The truth is, GTA 6 is bigger than the Game Awards. Yeah. GTA 6 and... The, if anything, they're probably going to reveal GTA++ plus <laughs> GTA++ plus plus at the Game Awards. And it, I swear to God, if these seconds do that, man, I swear to God, man, I'm going to beat y'all asses on GTA 6 and in GTA 6. Okay? Rockstar Games as themselves and an entity usually cast a big shadow of a lot of other games in the market. This isn't me being all for Rockstar. This is me just conveying the nature of the size of Rockstar Games. Thanks, There's also been thanks. many instances where Rockstar Games haven't won Game of the Year when they should have won Game of the Year. All based on sales figures, all based on community impact, and all based on the impact that they've had on the industry. So what Rockstar's relationship with the Game Awards is really like, we really don't know, but it's yet to be seen. I mean, to be fair though, like, I can see The Last of Us 2 winning once again, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't have a good relationship with the Game Awards, man. In Urdu, I would like to say, like, kutte deo bacho. Are, chhod do na, bas nikal do game ko, ab kitna, or kitna ghanta, ghanta. I guess I wanna show you guys this one, okay? Well, what this... console are you guys gonna be playing GTA 6? Shout out to the homie Mr. Boss for doing right there, all right? Here we go, boys. Oh. Is it going to be one of Sony's systems like PlayStation 5 or PS5 Pro? Or is it going to be one of Microsoft's systems like the Xbox Series X or S? Let me know in those comments down below. And the reason I'm asking that is because we have some huge news surrounding huge, Grand Theft Auto 6 and what console Rockstar Games looks to be partnering with. We'll be talking about all that in this video today and a whole lot more. So this comes oh, from wow. the XNC podcast, which is hosted by Colt Eastwood it. and Middle-Aged Game Guy, or M-A-G-G, -G, MAG probably. Because according to Middle-Aged Game Guy, who does have some sources Bruh. in the industry, he said that Sony has secured exclusive marketing rights for GTA 6 on the PS5 and upcoming PlayStation 5 Pro. Now, their podcast is over two hours long, but this is the segment in which they talk about GTA 6 and PlayStation 5. Take a listen to this right now. What did you hear the other night? What was your... Uh... Oh, that was interesting. Like I said, it's not... It's um... It's not, it's, not, uh, it's not massive news because I think everybody was expecting it, but it's more confirmation. You're going to hear about it during the second trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6 that Sony has locked down marketing rights for GTA Whoa. 6 for the PS5 and the PS5 Pro only. Uh, but what would will, that mean for Xbox uh, uh, consumers and fans? Well, they're still getting it, but they're just not going to get the marketing exposure. That's all it is. So I will leave the entire... Yeah, they, I mean, listen, a game like Grand Theft Auto, like, nobody has to panic, right? Like, it's going to be everywhere, bro. It's not going to be on the PS5 4 or PlayStation 4, not PS5 4. <laughs> it's not, it's not going to be on the last gen consoles, not going to be on Xbox One. And, and listen, do you really want... Okay, how many of you guys are on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One? Listen, man, I love all my Sony ponies equally. I love my, all, all, I love all my Xbox Andes equally too, okay? But do you want to play the game at 2 FPS on PS4? To be fair, though, like... Y yeah, right? Like, if you don't have PS5 or Xbox Series X, right? Like, y y yeah, you're, you're probably gonna take the game at 2 FPS. Are you are you Bruh. gonna take it, though? I I'm assuming that maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But, like, here's the thing, though. Like, realistically, do you want the game being at, like, 720, 
15 FPS? Or would you rather just wait for it? Because right over here, that even on the PS5, bro, the game is gonna be like uh, 30 FPS. But this is, these are all just guesses by Digital Foundry. So, you know, back when PS5 Pro specs were leaked out, Digital Foundry came out and they were like, okay, based on, based on our analysis, this game is gonna not run at 60 fps that's what they said and to be fair though they are very very credible but again that was their guess those are tech experts like ign is saying you cannot say uh ignorant without saying ign right so yeah that's true as well but this is not gospel these are not 100 and bona fide 100 bona fide facts okay this is just like he uh, her uh he said she said kind of situation i really hope it's 60 fps but what they're saying is that slow your rolls here poppy like you don't know like probably the game is going to be 30 fps and if the game turns out to be 30 fps even on the ps5 pro then i mean damn bro like at that point bro like if they were supposed to put gta 6 on ps4 and xbox one damn it will be like realistically 7 fps maybe bro yeah think about this for a second but how many of you guys are still on ps4 and uh xbox uh, one right if you are i don't blame you nowadays we're not getting any massive games or anything like that but the only game that i guess it would be worth getting ps5 pro or ps5 or maybe even series x for is gonna be gta 6 and if you got n none of these consoles i would say like go with ps5 pro if you don't have series x or ps5 uh, I would say go with PS5 Pro when that comes out because, yeah, better experience for GTA 6 perhaps. Maybe, I guess we'll see. Maybe it's still gonna be, <laughs> uh, you know, 20 FPS. We don't know. We don't know. I hear podcast in the description if you guys are interested. They talk about some very Wait interesting subjects, but essentially what it looks like is Sony is gonna be using GTA 6 and Rockstar is gonna be using the PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 5 Pro to help market their system and this title. And honestly, it's a win-win situation all the way around. Sony pays for that exclusive marketing rights and console exclusivity, which is great for Rockstar. They also get promotion whenever Sony advertises the PlayStation 5 Pro and yeah. it gives them an opportunity to show off their especially after losing 100 million to 200 million US dollars on Concord if you heard that Concord situation right yeah Sony lost all that money it that game was in development for eight years came out uh, it's been like what not uh, yeah two weeks now give or take right and the game couldn't even last two weeks man and they had to pull that out it's closing it's shutting down dead ass that news was everywhere so yeah, that news has been bigger than Area 51 leaks as well. So yeah, it, it is crazy. It is crazy. On the they, they gotta make the money back some Most way. powerful system out there. Since the game has not been confirmed or announced on PC, a PlayStation 5 Pro would be the most powerful system to play GTA 6 on. And you know Rockstar really loves that. And what makes things even more interesting is the PS5 Pro is set to be announced within the next couple of days. The rumor is yeah. that it's going to occur within the first two weeks of September. So all of Jeez. our eyes and ears should be pinned on Sony right now because an announcement does seem to be imminent. And Sony's announcement of the PlayStation 5 Pro could also also coincide with Rockstar Games releasing a second trailer, screenshots on the title, or just finally giving us new information after nine months. When I'm recording this- Oh uh, yeah, that's insane, right? Like, the first trailer for GTA 6, the first time we all got to see like the trailer, the Lucia Bruna and all that, right? That was nine months ago, damn it! That was nine months ago, man! That was nine months ago. These seconds crazy, damn, man. I will be 50 years old by the time we get GTA 7, man. Yeah, forget about GTA 6, that's old news, fellas. Where is GTA 7 right now? Of course, I'm joking around. But yeah, I, I would not be shocked if they perhaps, you know, the same day we get GT, uh, PS5 Pro reveal, they reveal some sort of like GTA 6 with it. Perhaps like, hey, GTA 6 is gonna be on PS5 Pro, plays best on PS5 Pro, or, or alongside that, perhaps maybe even screenshots. I don't think they're gonna drop the trailer too uh, that early. I can see them dropping trailer too, perhaps by November or December of this year. That's when I do see, but however, per, we might get uh, the, the the images alongside PS5 Pro. I think that's gonna market and boost uh, its sales or boost uh, boost the hype levels as well, right? This video, it's Thursday, September 5th, 2024, and that makes it nine months since Rockstar revealed the first trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6 back in December of 2023. So it has certainly been a long time, in fact, longer than any other Rockstar Games title has gone since the first trailer is released and since they've given more information. So it's certainly long overdue, and this seems like the perfect opportunity to combine Rockstar's GTA 6 and Sony's PlayStation 5 Pro. And this should not be a surprise that Rockstar is deciding to partner with Sony because they have had a working relationship with them for a long time now. Going yeah. back to just some of the most recent things they've done, for example, they gave exclusive bonuses for players that purchased the standalone edition of GTA 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online on PlayStation yeah. versus Xbox. They it was it GTA Plus and GTA Plus Plus Shark Hearts 2.0? What was that, man? I, <laughs> I hope 
hope it was better than that, man. Damn, also provided man. exclusive bonuses in both GTA Online and Red Dead Online for oh, players wow. on PlayStation versus oh, Xbox. Wow. And the last time we saw Rockstar Games make a major announcement at someone else's conference or news event, it was Grand Theft Auto V for the PS4 and Xbox One all the way back in 2014. And now, let's Jeez. take a look at something from a company that I've had a personal relationship with since the PS2 era. Their games have kept PlayStation gamers up late at night for generations as they pioneered new genres and new experiences. Take a look. Holy. I'm thrilled to announce that Grand Theft Auto V is coming to PlayStation 4 this fall. That was like a next-gen announcement, but for the initial reveal, Rockstar did it on their own. So yeah, I, 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 I feel like that when they reveal PS5 Pro, I think they, they perhaps uh, gonna... Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Doesn't mean that they're gonna, but makes sense, okay. Grand Theft Auto V takes full advantage of the power of PS4 and features a host of enhancements and new details for players to discover. Plus, Sheesh, the current community of PS3 players and Xbox 360 players will have the ability to transfer their GTA online progress and characters to the player. This was 10 years ago. I remember watching this. I, yeah, I, I watched this live. I, I witnessed this live, man. I did watch this live, bro. I was there, man. That was 10 years ago, bro. That was 10 years ago. They can't keep getting away with this, man. This thing is crazy, and we still don't have the game. Of course, they're saying it's coming out next year, but it's like, it can still get delayed, though. It can still get delayed, but okay, whatever, right? If Even if it comes out next year, it's like, damn, man, 10 years ago, bro. Holy F, man. When are we gonna get GTA 7? We should be having GTA, we should all be getting hyped up for GTA 9 around this time, bro. We should have had GTA 6, GTA 7, GTA 8, all of them by now, right? We should be getting hyped up for GTA 9. But now, man, we, we still be stuck on that with, with that GTA 6, bro. PlayStation 4. But I'm happy it's coming out. I'm happy. Tranquilo, papi. So there you have it. Pretty much for the last decade or so, Rockstar Games has had a working relationship and partnership with PlayStation and yeah. Sony. And I feel like that's going to continue with Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, you might be wondering, oh, what to. about the guys on Xbox? Well, of course, the game is still going to be coming out on Xbox Series X and S, but there is a chance for some exclusive stuff for PlayStation players only. Now, I don't know what that will be. It could be simple things like cars or cosmetics, or it could be early access to the game. It honestly depends on... Or it might be GTA Plus <laughs> Plus. You know, Pay two dollars extra. <laughs> yeah, imagine these seconds do something like that, where you know they're like, okay, early, early launch, exclusive launch, or early launch or time early launch for GTA 6 Plus uh, Plus. You can get it on PS5. Buy it now, guys. It's early. It's exclusive and early. But you have to pay like two dollars extra versus when it launches for everybody on xbox right imagine these seconds do that of course like i'm joking around they're not gonna do that but like imagine imagine the the rewards are like uh okay 50 percent discount on shark cards you're still gonna pay them right imagine like a hundred dollar microtransaction is now reduced down to fifty dollars i'm talking about the shark cards where you spend hundred dollars real life money and you get eight million fake money in gta 5 right that crazy situation right guys like they they just need to do this they just need to like do this and you would get all the money in the in the world in the game bro like it's free man but they they charge you hundred dollars for that crap bro it's insane man like these suckers are ruthless bro these suckers crazy man i swear to god man these suckers need their ass beat up in gta 6 only in gta 6 only in gta 6 okay maybe even in minecraft as well but but yeah, man, $100, that's like a highway robbery, bro. Highway robbery in daytime on God's green earth, bruh. Shark cards should be free. Money glitches should be there. Yeah, money glitches should be there, man. I, I miss the money glitches, man. I miss the money glitches. Money. If they're really gonna play this game like that, where the earn rate in the game is really bad, and they got GTA++, Shark cards 2.0, 3.0, maybe even right then we deserve money glitches then we deserve to do money glitches bruh like yeah oh you don't think so come on man like this thing is gonna charge you 200 dollars for that crap bro every dlc and they're there uh, what we're hearing is that it's gonna get fortnite like events fortnite like updates meaning that not necessarily that it's gonna be kitty game or anything like that it just means that the frequency of the content would be on par uh, as GTA or I should say as Fortnite right in GTA 6 and I, I like that I like that but of course with that they're probably gonna bring in a lot of like overpriced content in the game where something is costing like 8 billion 2 billion <laughs> crap like that and therefore if the earn rate 
uh, to acquire money in the game is slow then people most people are just gonna be like yeah let me just uh you know let me just pull my pants down grab my credit card and just buy uh, that shark card 2.0 i don't want none of that crap right like i hope the earn rate in the game is good then uh, of course uh, even then people still gonna do money glitches or gonna try to attempt and find to do but if the earn rate is good in the game then of course right like at that point i would be like i'd rather play the game legitimately than that but if this like is really gonna try and pull a high stone uh players wallets then yeah man money glitches should be there man on all probably the behind the scenes and behind closed doors details that we might like the video if you agree like the video if you not agree. have any idea about that happens between sony and rockstar and how lucrative this business deal is if it's hundreds of millions sony might be requesting that they get yeah. something serious when it comes facts. to gta 6 or it facts, might be something facts. as simple as the next grand theft auto 6 trailer is uploaded to playstation's youtube channel or something yeah. like that like that's yeah. the only place it's gonna be smaller stuff though it's gonna be smaller stuff it's not gonna be like exclusive on ps5 or none like that but guys check out this video on the screen this recently just happened we had like gameplay leaks high leaks for gta 6 and the news is actually very, very good. If you have not seen it, check it out. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. Whole lot of drama going on in the six, man.